What is up, Gemini? Welcome to your general timeless reading. If you're new, welcome. Like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not new, welcome back. Same goes for you. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. And happy 2022. Holy crap. Okay. Um, Gemini, Gemini. Why are you so fly, Gemini? Um, I want to use Modern Witch Tarot for you. You feeling sassy. Extroverted. Extroverted would be the word. Extroverted. And, um, yeah. Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Timeless, so whenever you see it is when it's meant for you. General, so take what resonates, leave the rest, because they're not perfect things, okay? So let's see what's going on for Gemini. It's taken me three years to be able to shuffle this deck to get it soft enough to actually shuffle it. Isn't that crazy? Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Everybody with the Empress in reverse. It makes so much sense because the collective is integrating a lot of distorted feminine energy, right? Um, I'll do a video on what distorted feminine, distorted masculine energy is uh, later, later on in the week or next week for you guys. But the Empress in reverse is distorted feminine energy. This is the energy that we receive love from, right? And that it's also the energy that we create new instances in our life, new ideas, new relationships, opportunities. It's the energy that we manifest from is our feminine energy. It's ideas, right? We give birth from feminine energy. Masculine energy brings it into the tangible. So with the magician, it's almost like, so you have the Empress in reverse, the magician, <laughs> Some of you really want me to say the zodiac signs. I've stopped doing that just because we always end up with all of them out on the table. So, sorry, but Empress, Libra, Taurus, Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Four of Swords, Libra, and then we have Ten of Wands, which is Sagittarius, right? So, we're going to have all of them. Um, the Empress in Reverse is an energy of, especially next to the Magician in Reverse, is somebody who's misusing their manifestation power or who's not realizing how powerful they truly are at creating the thoughts and ideas that they really have, right? It's kind of like a self-sabotaging behavior. There's a need to take a step back to breathe. Stop being so analytical about it. Allow it to unfold, allow it to unravel. Because this is an energy of an individual, especially with the 10 of wands here, who's kind of like creating much more of a burden, much more heaviness than it needs to be, right? Allow yourself to have fun. Allow yourself to explore. Allow yourself to create whatever it is you want to create. And I know easier said than done, right? We could all we could all say like, I can even sit here and say like, come on guys, like allow yourselves to create whatever you want to create. And yet I, I even struggle at times to practice that, right? Because there's things in my mind that I want to create right now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared to just take that leap. But we, we do it, we do it. Just need to allow yourself to breathe. Breathe and be present. Yeah, six of one. This is a fear of failure. <laughs> it's a fear to take the leap. What if it doesn't work out? But what if it doesn't work out, Jordan? What if I don't get the recognition that I'm wanting? Well, let me ask you, why are you seeking recognition for it? It's not about what other people give you. You're supposed to be doing it for you, right? It's not for other people. It's not for your mom, your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, the aunt on the floor. It's not for any of them. It's for you. It's for you to feel alive, to feel at peace, right? And with the hangman, that's the need to surrender, to just, to come into yourself, to come into yourself to this. When I say to come into yourself, I mean to this place of such authenticity and balance that you can sit and just know that I've always been supported. I've always been provided for, and I'm still here now because everything has worked out. Everything has worked out. Maybe not the way that I wanted or anticipated, but it has worked out up until this point that now I have the opportunity for this new beginning. And the only thing standing in the way of me and this opportunity are these fears, this false evidence appearing real that's stopping me from taking that leap, right? Whether it's, well, I don't have enough money or I don't have the uh, enough confidence to do that, or what, what would people think of me if I did that? 
If I told you how many times I thought those thoughts when I quit my corporate job to play with tarot cards for a living or to do energy healing as my full-time work or for all the people that thought I was crazy for doing it. That was the ultimate test of surrender, right? We're always gonna have those fears. But let me tell you, overcoming that fear is what allowed me to find something that resonated with all of I am, with all that I am, right? Okay? And in turn it's gonna be a domino effect. You start to discover more and more and more things that just that just make you feel like you're doing what you're meant to do. Because I'd be lying if I don't sit here sometimes and think, what would it be like to go back to corporate? I've thought about it, but then I know deep down inside of me, there's something that would always want to come back to this. That I would end up quitting after like a month or two. I'd be like, oh, bleh. I just get bored easily. I just get bored easily. That's just my thing. Like I always want change. I always want change, but I get bored so easily. So I'm always, I'm always doing new things. I always like new things. Like I get super bored, super bored, super quickly. <laughs> Four of Cups, yeah, you have this energy of never being satisfied right now. The Four of Cups, it's kind of like, you what what you are thinking of creating is right at your fingertips. <laughs> and it's kind of like you don't think that it really is. You don't believe it is. Why? Why do you not believe it is, right? You need to come back home to you to breathe you need to do the things that made you feel alive again you need to go walk outside you need to go appreciate artwork or dance in the wind or listen to music or dance right dance drums those things ground you in such ways that are healthy and revitalizing so entertain that entertain that idea whatever floats your boat honey bunches of oats okay um gemini I really, uh, I'm so torn. Um, I don't, I don't want to use it, but there's something in me that really wants. To, oh, fine. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if this. It's definitely my ego. There's something about this that it's. I don't know. Like I just don't want to do love readings. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like I just. I feel like the collective is so hung up on like this idea of like my person and I'm not I'm not bashing anybody, right? I just wish you were more hung up on you, like loving you, like just love you. We all need to love ourselves. Because when you love yourself, you're gonna be like, oh shit, I can love my person so much more. <laughs> right? Because you're gonna realize that everything that you're seeking in another person or for your situation, this recognition is really coming from you. Wanting that for yourself. Okay, that's like the Empress. Tangent done. I'll just bang out these cards real quick for you. Yeah. Ace of Wands, Empress in Reverse. Validation for me as a reader that the channel message so far is correct. And the Four of Cups again, right? So here you are wanting to create this new beginning for yourself. But with the Four of Cups here, you're having this, ah, oh, but it's never going to work out not emotionally satisfied. I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with myself and I don't want to see that. My heart space isn't really open to accepting this new opportunity yet because I don't feel that it's actually gonna work out or it's not gonna plan pan out the way that I expect. Well, let me ask you something. Has anything panned out the way that you expected? I know for damn sure it hasn't for me. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. That's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it a journey, an adventure, an experience. If you were going through life like a damn math equation, like something that had a certain way of doing it, then it wouldn't be something to learn from now, would it? Okay, let's look at the magician. <laughs> Eight of swords, yeah, get out of the head. Get out of the head space. And the Page of Cups, when you get out of the head and into the heart, because the Page of Cups is the card of vulnerability for me as a reader. It's someone who knows how to be honest with themselves about what they feel. This is someone who's kind of like, I know how I feel, but then I overthink how I feel. And then I distort how I feel because I'm trying to figure out and analyze if my feelings are valid or if they're true or if they're rooted in something else. 
instead of just being with your feelings instead of just being it's a misuse of your power when you just allow yourself to feel allow yourself to feel I'm feeling sad i'm feeling confused as fuck. okay feel confused as fuck sit with it sit with it allow it to move through you cry it out scream it out scream in a pillow punch a pillow okay let it go let it move through you purge that energy go to the gym do some yoga walk outside play with your dog do some art, whatever it is that is your outlet, right? But feel it. Don't sit and ruminate on it. Because when you do that, you're not, you're not healing or integrating it. You're putting your nervous system through the same trauma over and over and over. Through that same emotion over and over and over because you're trying to understand it. Instead of allowing yourself to work through it. Let's look at the Four of Swords. Temperance, yeah. When you take the pause and you do the things that are truly healing and restful for your body, your mind, and your spirit, right? The Four of Swords. It's, it's the card of meditation. It's the card of contemplation. It's the card of rest and rejuvenation. Temperance is healing. It's your angels, your ancestors, your guides. For me as a reader, it's the card of the higher consciousness. It's learning to have that moderation, the balance between the physical self and the higher self, learning how to bring the two bodies back together so you can be in balance, so you can be grounded. What grounds you? Because when you're in the head overthinking, you're in the ego space, right? And the ego is not a bad thing, but it's there to protect you. You want to be in your authentic higher self. You want to be in your truth. You don't want to be in your fear and your anxiety and your worry and your concern, right? Let's look at the Ten of Wands in reverse. Whew, splat. Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups. Okay. Let's get two more. Okay. This is habitual for you. When you feel a cycle coming to a close, it's almost like... It kind of feels like a self-sabotaging behavior that's rooted in, in wanting to feel loved, though. It's kind of like, okay, so um, let's put it this way. Like, I finally have love. I finally have love, right? Gem I'm Gemini. I have love. And it feels great. And that's, that's overwhelming to me. It's overwhelming to me. And... At the same time, it makes me reflect on, is what I'm feeling true or am I just taking on what this person feels for me? Is this just the feel goods? You overthink it. <laughs> You're overthinking it. And in turn, you sabotage it because then you, you start to work from this place of a lack of authenticity. And it's an old cycle and it's rooted in the devil. It's rooted in the ego. And that's what you're working to release, right? You're right at the end of releasing it because you're starting to realize that you can have a four of wands, but it's your personal power, right? The lovers is indicative of Gemini energy. It's your personal power that you're leaking. Don't give so much power to the other person. Don't give so much power to the other person. Don't give so much power to the other person or the situation. It's you, it's you, it's you. <laughs> okay, what about you? Let's look at the Six of Wands in reverse. Nine of Pentacles, there you are, star in the sun. Okay, you're coming into your own, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. It doesn't mean that necessarily you're gonna be single, right? Because there's no there's no ending, really, right? We, we do have a Ten of Wands, okay? This feels more in the sense of releasing the burden around what you associate with vulnerability, with love, right? Releasing the burden of how connection is scary, okay? And if it, there is a true ending, there is a true ending because it's making space for you to learn how to truly love yourself. And this has been a long time coming. This has been a, re a repetitive lesson over and over and over. So if you have a habit of sabotaging relationships when they start to go really well, it's because part of you does not feel deserving of that love or you want to just ruin it because you're scared of love or you struggle to actually be receptive to love. You're stepping into this space of I'm learning to love myself and give myself the happiness that I deserve because 
By doing so, I attract this abundance, the sun, this higher consciousness energy all around me. And that's what leads you to this new beginning, right? Very nice. Let's look at the hangman. Let's see what you're surrendering. Some of you, it is this relationship. As soon as I got to the hangman, they show me the lovers in reverse again. Others of you, it's a four of pentacles. Some of you are holding on to a relationship that you know you don't really resonate with anymore and you're just kind of holding on to it because letting go of things is difficult for you. Yeah, tower in reverse. You're resisting an ending. Resisting an ending. What do we got over here? And the king of cups in reverse. And the two of swords. Yep. You already know that emotionally you're no longer invested in this foundation. And with the two of swords there, it's the, I don't want to make a choice. I don't want to choose a new path, even though I already have in my heart. I've already let go of this in my heart. Because I'm not at conflict with it. And the foundation's already gone for me. King of Cups in reverse, I'm already emotionally disconnecting. I just can't seem to actually let it go. Dang man, right? Holding on to it. I'm struggling to surrender, to allow the foundation to fall away. So let's look at this new beginning. Some of you, this has a lot to do with um, not understanding how you really feel. It's like you're emotionally shutting down and thinking that the relationship's done. But if you were to really think about the relationship, is it really that the relationship's done? Or is it that you're emotionally shutting down because the relationship hit a point that challenges you to step into a new mode of vulnerability? Or, an, or a new level of vulnerability, I should say, right? Let's look at the fool. Let's see what this risk is, this new cycle is, okay? For Gemini. That's her take on the finest, which is funny. Five of Pentacles. Um, It feels like you're running from the opportunity of something that something that's presenting to you. Yeah, King of <laughs> You're running from the opportunity to become the perfect partner. King of Pentacles is my perfect partner card. It's someone who's stable, who's emotionally available, who's also the father, who's a provider, who's loyal and dedicated and reliable, unshakable, right? Ten of Swords, bottom of the deck. This is the struggle to close out a painful old way of being, right? Let's get one more on the floor. Justice in reverse, queen of wands, 10 of wands. Um, and then what do we got over here? The devil, okay. So here's your self-sabotaging behavior. Some of you, the queen of wands to me is the other woman in tarot. Okay, so some of you might have, and this doesn't have to be like a woman, it just could be like another party. So let's say you have a great relationship that's going amazing and you're like, oh my gosh, they love me so much. They love me so much and it scares the living fuck out of me because I love them too, but I'm gonna tell myself I don't and that, you know, I'm really not feeling this anymore. And you know, my ex was, my ex was awesome. And um, I think I'm gonna sabotage this current relationship by bringing that person back into the picture, even though I know it's the wrong thing to do, justice in reverse, that's a self-sabotaging behavior, devil. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because you're scared to build, to, to collaborate on this new foundation that's gonna lead you into a new path. And so you go back to old cycles and resist the wheel of fortune, the change. And then in turn, you miss out on your queen of pentacles and your six of wands. Womp womp. Let's look at the four of cups. The four of cups. Sorry, I took a card that was not supposed to actually wait. I don't think you had that. It is a five of swords. If we have, oh well, it's back in the deck. Now. Let's look at the Four of Cups. Baby, come back to you. Six of Wands. Okay. You want this. You want this. It's everything you want. You're like, no, I don't. I really don't. You're lying. No, you're lying. <laughs> You're lying <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> See, Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> you lying to yourself. Cause 
your feminine energy, your thought in that clear. It's not clear. Queen of Swords in reverse. You're mopey. Five of Cups. And you're being called to connect with your higher self. High Priestess. Judgment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying. You're lying. <laughs> Don't call me a liar. <laughs> Let's get one more on the Four of Cups. To close this out for Gemini. Whoop. Okay. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my Atlanta. Five of Cups and the Three of Cups. You're like, all I really want is to reconcile with my person, is to be happy with them, because the five minus the three is the Two of Cups. You have a strong relationship with them. You want them. You also want a Ten of Pentacles with them, which is a marriage, a contract, a long-term commitment, moving in together. You want, you want everything, right? It's something that's unshakable. Now with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles though, this is an energy of someone who's kind of like, the building with people is hard because it means that I have to emotionally show them all that I am. And that means I have to let go of my fears. And I, I find it hard to do that because that means a release of control, right? Right, so. Got some stuff going on, huh? Um, well, if you want a personal reading to look into your own situation, you know, just give me a holler. You can book it on my website down below. And I love you, and I wish you the best. And again, general reading. So just take the pieces there as an eight, and leave the rest. Leave the rest because it's for the collective. It's not. It's not specifically for one person right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and again, I love you, and I'll see you next time.